How you doing dessert junkies? I hope you are well. Well this is my last video in my little Christmas series and I'm not going to load up a video next week because next Wednesday is Christmas so you should be with your family and your friends not watching me on YouTube but if you do happen to get a new toy that happens to let you watch the YouTubes feel free to watch all my videos. There's plenty of them. Go and check them out by subscribing up there. So this week's video, this one is not a dessert, but it's still baking and that's how I get away with it. These are my mini quiches. Okay guys, to get started we need some bacon. Now this is some bacon rashers. Now I know in the North Americas your bacon is a little bit piddly and crap compared to our big ass bacon here in Australia. So probably use about four rashers in the North Americas, but here I'm using two. And I'm going to cut it in half, and then half again, and then I'm going to cut it into strips. And essentially, I'm going to make this into a fine dice. You can buy diced bacon, but it's just, it doesn't seem small enough, and it, you know, becomes crap. So, buy the, buy the rashes and do it yourself. Now, I'm going to show you how to cut up an onion. I know some people are going, laws, it's an onion. But trust me, some people don't know how to cut an onion. Cut the base off, then it makes it nice and flat, and it doesn't wobble around, and then you end up trying to stab yourself while trying to cut the onion, and then you're crying because of it. So I'm going to cut into the onion into slits, and this is going to give us essentially onion slices. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down the onion, and this is going to give you strips. So this is how you sort of work an onion, folks. It's, it's all layers. It's all layers. And you reveal those layers, and you end up crying. But also doing it this method, you don't cry until you hit the end. Now, to cut down will give us the dice. So this is going to be a nice fine dice once again. No one likes big chunks of onion. So if you find your dice too big, just run your knife through it again. Then I've also got some chizu or cheese. There you go. Cheese in Japanese. I'm teaching you guys so many important things. I'm going to also run my knife through this so it's a little bit finer too. Now, for our batter, we've got some cream. Beautiful, full strength cream, people. Fat is flavor. Don't forget that. Then we've got one happy chicken egg, some Dijon mustard, and this will just give it a bit of a pip, you know, to your stip. Great. And then we're going to add in our onion that we just diced before, and it's only about half an onion there, so don't go too much. Then the bacon. Now, you don't have to use bacon. You can use olives and capsicum. Essentially, you want something with a little bit of salt, but not too salty, and maybe a nice simple flavor. If you don't want to make it with bacon, that'll give you a great vegetarian alternative. Give it a bit of a mix up. Now, I'm just using pepper because the bacon has a bit of salt. I'm going to be using the tray again that gives us the tartlet shape. These are awesome. Get yourself one. Now, I don't have a cookie cutter that fits that, but I used simply a glass. Works just as well. Make sure the glass is bigger, though, than your little tray. Now, make sure that you grease the tray and grease it like crazy because that is the way that your tart or your quiche... It's going to come out. Now, I'm just going to use some puff pastry here. Essentially push down on the glass using my body weight. And that's going to cut a puff pastry circle. I found that I got 12 out of it. Essentially by going across three and down three. And then using the extras and squishing them together to make the 12. So one sheet, one tray. Dead easy, folks. Peel that off and slaughter it in. Now give it a bit of a push down and make sure that you get the shape nice. Get that as even as you can. But with puff pastry, it's great. You don't really notice those funky edges. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Now, I also have got ah, parsley. You can put parsley in this. So if you've got someone who doesn't like parsley, just sneak it in. Give it a bit of a good mix up just before you start pouring. Now, you can pour this in or you can uh, scoop it in. I did try and pour it and then I absolutely suck at pouring. So I went with the spoon. I chickened out the last minute. So fill up your little quiches. And then just before putting them in, we're going to put some of that cheese that we had before, just a little bit on the top. Whack them in the oven. Don't worry, they will puff up. They will puff down when you take them out of the oven. They look beautiful and golden like this. Allow them to cool before you try and attempt to get them out because you may end up burning your little fingers. There you have it, guys. This is the perfect snack for Christmas, New Year's. I hope you make them. You will love them. Merry Christmas, dessert junkies. Thank you so much. We'll see you in two weeks' time.